Hey guys, this is True with Slices and Sessions, and today we'll be talking about your C712 pump assembly. All you're gonna need is your hands and this nifty tool to take everything apart, and we're gonna show you how to take it apart, put everything back together, and then uh, reassemble the pump back in, okay? So for this example, we're gonna come over here and show you C712. So to remove your pump assembly, it's not too bad, all you gotta do is pull this pin. This is what holds in your tube, if you can see in here. There we go. And you come over, pull out your, your uh, feeding tube, and then you pull this plate right here, which locks the whole assembly in, and this just slide right out, like that, okay? This is your whole assembly, all right? So let's move on to the table. So we got the locking plate, locking pin, we got your feed tube, we got the O-ring removal kit, all right, and we're gonna pull this pin out. You may have a circle of different shaped one, but the idea is this is what holds this whole red assembly in. Go ahead and pull this out, come out. You're gonna pull out this, this uh, suction side. You're gonna have a O-ring in there. Well, it's, it's, it's called a simplified pump gasket, okay? And you're gonna pull that out in a minute. And then the easiest way to get all the rest of this out is if you push from the back side. If you push, First you get this out, oh, and it piston falls right after. All right, so this is your pump assembly, okay? And I'm gonna use a tool while you're cleaning. You're gonna have to remove all the O-rings. Like that. You're gonna remove the simplified pump gasket. Like that. And this is the entire assembly for your pump, okay? Anytime you have any problems creating pressure or holding pressure or even sucking up your product in the beginning of, um, you know, just whenever you're using it, it's either this went bad, this went bad, or that went bad. If you see a lot of bubbles coming out of your hopper hole where this feeds into, it might be this O-ring that went bad. Um, or if you're shooting it, seeing like the mix shoot out this side, it's, it's probably this O-ring that went. So, you know, when you're doing all this, you want to make sure you, you know, you pull it all off and uh, check all your O-rings to make sure they're not, you know, flattened out and they're nice round and they're soft and not cracked. So, there we go. All right. This would be the same exact thing you would do on the opposite side of the machine, except your feet tube, instead of being a bend one, you're gonna have a straight one. So you're gonna notice the difference when you're putting it together because you're gonna see that one just doesn't fit. All right, so let's pretend we've all done everything we gotta do and we're gonna put our whole pump assembly back together and back into the machine, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. First of all, let's, uh, you're gonna put all your O-rings back on, right? You're gonna make sure you lubricate everything. Remember to use a Taylor Food Safe Lube or any other Food Safe Lubricant you can use. Put the O-rings back on. Put these O-rings all back in, all right? The simplified pump gasket. There's only fitting one way. You got a big circle and a small circle right here. You got a big circle and a small circle right there. So it's like, you know, there's blocks. You fit circle to circle and it should fit flat right in, just like that, okay? So to assemble your pump, this is your, this is your pump body, all right? So you got a, a bigger end, and you got a smaller end, okay? Everything goes in from the big end, okay? So if you look at it like this, you're gonna put the, the piston in first, okay? The no O-ring part goes down. This is the part that goes up. So watch, if you put it in, right? It's gonna slide in, push it in a little bit. And you're gonna see right here is where that turny thing will catch it and make it go back and forth so that it'll create, you know, the pump action going on. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is actually you're gonna take this guy right here. You got your simplified gasket in there, okay? Same deal. You got your other part right here. You got a notch up here. You got a notch up there, right? You're gonna, you're gonna put that baby right in and wham, just like that. It only fits one way. If you do it right, you should be able to see right through that hole right there, all right? Because that's where that locking pin goes. If it's blocked, you did it wrong, all right? Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take this whole assembly right here. You got a notch right there. See a little nub? You also got a, a nub right here, okay? What this does is it helps you line up everything so all the holes line up. 
that's all I gotta do. Here's a notch, here's a notch. Gotta put that in like that, okay? If you do it right, same deal. Hole goes straight all the way through, all right? So then you're gonna take your, your locking pin, put it right through. Ta-da, that's how you get it. All right, so now from here, we're gonna do the rest of the assembly, everything back into the machine. So you gotta, when you do this, it might be a little tricky. So if you look at the actual turning nub right here, right? If it's more on this side, you wanna make sure that you put this notch a little more on that side as well. See how I push it that way over a little bit? That, that, that means this nub is gonna fit in right here when you put it in like that. This nub right here, okay? So once you, because if you do it wrong, let's say like you push it a little over like that, this nub is gonna be hitting here, which means it's not gonna do anything where it's gonna jam, okay? When you run it, you're gonna damage something. So I'm gonna push it over to match this notch where my finger's going, that's where the nub's gonna go, to right here, okay? So first I'm gonna do this, and just wiggle this on. Once this notch hits here on this, this little pole right here, that means you have it all the way in, okay? Now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take this locking plate and just put it right in. Now this is supposed to be secure, okay? This locks the whole assembly into your hopper. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take the feeding tube. Let's put the O-rings back on. All that, all right? So with this side, it might be a little trickier, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the, the feeding tube into the hopper hole first, and then from there you rotate it into your, your, uh, your feed tube hole right there. Then you're gonna take your pin to lock it in place. If you don't put this pin in place and it builds pressure, this thing's gonna just blow right out like that, okay? So if you don't, that's gonna happen. But if you do it right, you put it in, you rotate it in, and then you put the pin in, not going anywhere. All right, so this is the video that just shows you how to put your pump assembly or see someone two together and disassemble it. And we'll see you in the next video where we show you how to disassemble the rest of the machine. And we're gonna also have other videos showing you how to get your machine started to make uh, ice cream mix and also how to adjust your other settings. See you later.